What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is a happy day, but it's also kind of a sad day because it's the last video that we're gonna shoot here at the Cancan. But that means a new chapter will very soon begin for us and I can't wait to tell you what it's gonna be. Now, this little bottle, are you curious? It's for a little game I wanna play with you during this video, more on that later. Before, let's talk about the Vieux Carré, the cocktail that we're gonna make today. After more than 200 videos here on this channel, I can't believe I haven't made a video about it yet. It's a delicious cocktail and there's one thing I love to do with it to elevate it slightly, but to keep the essential nature of this delicious classic. And I would like to apologize in advance because I have the feeling that after trying this recipe, you're gonna have a hard time going back to the classic version. So sorry, but not sorry. So if you guys are ready, let's talk about that little bottle, the new chapter, and also let's make the view curry my way. Let's go. Alright my friends, time for the big reveal. Why is it the last video that we shoot here at the Cancan? Well, that's because our time here in France has come to an end. In two days, we're moving to Spain in an exquisite apartment by the ocean in the beautiful city of San Sebastian. To make a long story short, a little more than a year ago, when we decided to move from Canada to France, we put all our belongings in a cargo and we really had the intention to settle here in France, but because of some laws, we were not aware of and because we're self-employed it was just not possible to do it it was not possible to rent a long-term apartment so within the past year we moved six times from touristic apartments to short-term apartments it cost us a fortune and for the most part it was just not possible to shoot the videos in the apartments so thank god i met the guys here at the Cancan who let us shoot the videos here while they were closed this is extremely generous and honestly without them without you guys i don't know if i would have been able to keep on creating content so I'm extremely thankful but this time it's gonna be different we already have the apartment in San Sebastian for long term and it's perfect to shoot some videos to create some content and it's gonna be a little bit like going back to the initial version of the channel we're gonna shoot in the kitchen in a brighter environment it's gonna be awesome so that's it for the big reveal the announcement of the new chapter but now that little bottle here what is it for well, I had so much fun shooting my videos here at the Kanka. I wanted to leave a little something. So Romain, one of the owners, sold me vintage bottles, one of Picon, one of Benedictine, and he included in the package a whole lot of small bottles, some mignonettes that we say in French. And in the lot, I was able to find some bottles to make myself a vintage Sazerac, and it was exquisite. So I decided in the empty bottle of cognac, I would place a little note, I would hide that somewhere in the bar, and the first one to come and find that note will get his first drink on me. They recently changed their cocktail menu and I tried them all and my favorite one is the Rey Mysterio which is a mezcal cocktail with passion fruit and homemade amaro. It is really good. So this here is a free Rey Mysterio. Good luck. I'm gonna go and hide it somewhere. Oh and if you're a D-Lucky one please I want to see a picture of that. Thank you. You guys remember the couch area? where I shot some parts of the videos while I was here at the Cancan. Well, there's a little shelf right above the couch, the blue couch. I'm gonna put the bottle right there for you to find it. Good luck. All right now, if you guys are ready, the Vieux Carré. This cocktail created in 1938 in New Orleans. That's almost as iconic and representative of the city than the Sazerac is. It's kind of a hybrid between the Sazerac and the Manhattan, a split-based cognac and rye, sweet vermouth, benedictine and bitters. It is already a perfect cocktail. So how can you make perfection even better? Fat washing the cognac with cacao butter. Yes. It's an extra step that's a little time consuming, that's true, but it's very simple and in this cocktail it makes a world of a difference. All you need is 25 grams of melted cacao butter for every 4 ounces of cognac. You pour the melted cacao butter over the cognac, shake it a little bit, leave it resting until the fat separates from the liquid and once you're there you place it in the freezer overnight. After you simply remove the solidified fat from the liquid, fine strain it and release the delicious fat washed cacao cognac. 
Now that we have that, we're ready to make the cocktail, but before, just a quick word to thank the sponsor of today's episode. Into the M is a clothing brand I fell in love with about a year ago, and since then, I legit been wearing just that for my t-shirts. Well, at least 90% of the time, and not just in my videos here, in my day-to-day -day life as well, because I just love them. They check all the boxes that are important for me. Fabric is eye hand, super comfortable, fits are perfect, they have that little attention to details that makes them stand out and the prices are great. Speaking of which, Into DM's Black Friday sale starts November 18 and it's the biggest sale of the year. It will run through December 4 and if you sign up to their SMS or email newsletter, you'll receive extra discounts and perks on top of the Black Friday sale. It's the perfect occasion for the holiday season, the whole collection makes great Christmas gifts and they guarantee that if you order right now, before or during the sale, you'll receive everything before Christmas. So head over to their website right now using the link in the description below and get ready to make some awesome Christmas gifts. Now let's go back to the regular program. Let's go. To make the Vyakare, whether it is my version or the classic recipe, you're gonna need the exact same ingredients. The only difference in mine, the cognac, is fat wash with cacao butter. So what you're gonna need is fat wash, cacao butter, cognac, rye whiskey, sweet vermouth. For the vermouth, I highly recommend in this cocktail that you use a full body sweet vermouth, like Cocchi di Torino, for example, or Carpano Antica are two great examples. Here today, I'm using Gonzales Bias, which is a Spanish sweet vermouth made out of Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez sherry. So it is a full body sweet vermouth packed with orange flavors, cinnamon, cloves, and a hint of bitterness from the wormwood. It is very nice in this cocktail, and well, me moving to Spain made me want to by a Spanish vermouth. So then you're also gonna need some Benedictine, Angostura bitters, and Pachel bitters. Now the cocktail. First, in a mixing glass, we're gonna pour one ounce of our cognac, one ounce of rye, three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth, quarter of an ounce of Benedictine, two dashes of Angostura bitters, and two dashes of Pachel bitters. We're gonna add ice and stir. And we're gonna strain this over ice. Now for the garnish, a lot of people use lemon zest for this cocktail and I think it's great for the classic, but here with the cacao butter washed cognac, it works best with orange oils. So we're gonna express some orange zest over the cocktail and simply gonna garnish it with it. And there we go, my friends. This is how we make my elevated version of the Vieux Carré. Cheers. <clears throat> On the nose, orange, oaky spices, it is very comforting. And then on the palate, it's an explosion of flavors. We get the cognac and the hint of fruitiness that's really well balanced by the spiciness of the rye. And then speaking of spices, we get tons of spices from the vermouth. And then we get just a little bit of a very interesting mouthfeel that is lingering in the back with a hint of chocolate and cacao flavor. It is so perfect with the cloves of the Angostura, the spices and the richness of the vermouth. I think this little addition to the classic cocktail makes it an exquisite drink. I love it and I hope you're gonna love it too. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy all the videos that we've made here at the Cancan in Bordeaux, but I also hope that you're gonna enjoy the one that we're gonna make in Spain. So my friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, to like if you like this video, to turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next one. And until then, I'm gonna tell you, see you in San Sebastian. Cheers. Mm. Can't wait to see who's gonna find that little note and enjoy that Rey Mysterio. It's a delicious cocktail too.